now the first step is to restart your computer just restart your computer once and then check also try launching the game multiple times so try launching the game multiple times and then check next step is to change the data collection value to zero now for this uh, you can open file explorer then go to this pc open c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open saved games folder now open uncharted folder now open users folder now open this folder now open now over here you can see shared settings.cfg make a right click open with you can just uh, open with notepad select notepad over here and then over here you can see data collection set it to zero set the value to zero go to file click on save now you can launch the game and then check still not working next step is to turn off gpu now for this uh, you can open uh, windows settings and then go to system go to display go to graphics click on graphics over here and then over here expand advanced graphic settings now over here you can see hardware accelerated gpu scheduling if this is on turn this off and then check if this is already off then you can turn it on and then check so try off for many users disabling this has worked if that does not work you can enable it and then check next step is to try skip logos in launch options so you can just go to steam make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in skip logos and then you can launch the game and then you can close this launch the game now once you just type in skip logos now at the top left here you can see steam and then click on go offline once steam is in offline mode now you can launch the game and then check still not working in that case you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to spam alt plus enter immediately after launching the game so as soon as you click on play keep on tapping the alt plus enter on the keyboard spam it and then check also you can if that does not work you can just make a right click go to properties this time you can type in dash window and then you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to roll back graphics driver now this has worked for many players so it might work for you so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so go to N uh, nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card over here and once you select your graphic card select the right operating system if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on start search and then the latest one right now is 566.14 uh, you can try 566.03 or you can even try like previous version so try older version and then once the down you have to click on download suppose you select this one then you can click on download and then click on download now and then once the download is complete you can run the file and during the installation select custom option and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation that way it will uninstall the previous driver and then it will install the older driver so put a check on select custom and then put a check on perform a clean installation and then check next step is to if if a previous driver does not work older driver does not work you can perform a clean installation of your graphics driver so again if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen 
click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now the next step is to verify the game files now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files so click on verify integrity of game files once the verification is 100 percent complete now you can launch the game and then check next step is to try D dx11 or dx12 in launch option so you can go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work you can try dash dx12 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this and then follow the next step now the next step is to set power windows power plan to power saver now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel and then go to hardware and sound now click on power options now over here in my case i have balanced and if you see power saver over here select power saver so if you see power saver like this you can select power saver save it and then you can launch the game you can even try a different option like maybe balanced or performance and then check so for many users this has worked so you can try this next step is to launch the game from the game installation folder so for this you can make a right click on the game select manage now click on browse local files it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see the game exe file so you can just try to make a double click on the game exe file so you can try all the exe file you can just make a double click on this file if that does not work you can try this you can try this still not working then make a right click on the game exe file and then go to properties go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click once again go to properties and this time put a check on this box select windows 8 hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties once again and this time select windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work again go to properties you can do this tab and then put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and you can do the same thing with these exe files so you can try one by one and check which exe file is working for you now when you put a check on all these boxes but still not working in that case you can uncheck these boxes and then hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you're using steel series sonar headset you can turn it off in windows sound option or you can turn off turn it off in in the app launch the game and the once once the game is up and running you can turn on the you can just uh, turn on the steel series app so if you're using this in that case you can go to like settings over here and then you can go to uh, here you can see sonar if this is on you can turn this off turn the app and then you can launch the game and then once the game is up and running you can turn it on or you can even go to uh, windows settings like you can go to system sound and you can go to over here over here now if you have uh, like uh, steel series over here enabled you can select your speaker uh, your default speaker and then launch the game and then you can you can turn on steel series sonar now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now make sure your windows is up to date this is important so go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed then restart your computer and then launch the game you can even use update assistant to update your windows 11 or windows 10 for windows 10 you can use this for windows 11 you can try this link the, the links are provided in the video description you can go to the go to the website here you can see windows 11 installation assistant click on download now run this exe file and then click on yes to allow if your windows is up to date 
you won't see any update if it is not up to date you will see install button update it do the same thing for windows 10 you will see windows update assistant you can use that now in nvidia control panel you can enable debug mode now for this you can make a right click on the desktop and then you can go to show more option and then open nvidia control panel and once nvidia control panel is open go to the help option over here and then select debug mode once debug mode is checked now you can launch the game and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then open windows settings and then go to privacy and security if you have windows 10 windows 11 if you have windows 10 click on update and security now click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps go to the game installation folder so wherever the game is installed if the game installed in c drive open c drive program file 686 now open the steam folder steam apps common open the game folder select all the exe file over here one by one select all the exe file and then you can launch the game now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow the app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select all the exe file one by one click on add again click on allow another app click on browse select the second exe file click on open click on add again allow another app select the third exe file open add in my case this is already added again click on allow another app browse select the last exe file click on open click on add once the games are added over here now you can launch the game and then check next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case it's 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now 
that is 3 into total RAM. So total RAM is this much into 3. That is 49152. 49152. 4915152. One. Now click on set over here. Then click on OK. OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now restart computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. Now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this type in graphics settings in Windows search box, go to graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the exe file click on add once the game is added uh, you can search the game in the list so scroll down and then find the game once you find the game in the from over here you can select it and then select high performance and you will see your graphic card add all the exe file and then select again select for select high performance over here and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c plus plus file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website scroll down over here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on it and then you can run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow download x64 file as well again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install option click on install click on yes to allow and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart you can launch the game next step is to update system bios this is important so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell website if you have lenovo computer go to lenovo if you have hp computer go to hp website so whichever brand you have go to their system manufacturer website select your model number select your computer make sure that you select your computer and then update the download the bios install the bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios do not unplug the power cable after the BIOS update, log into the computer and then launch the game. Also, unplug all the external devices which you are not, which you are not using. So, or if you have any kind of HOTAs, pedals, wheels, or any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnect it. Disconnect controller, extra controller. Sometimes we have additional controller connected, disconnected. Disconnect multiple monitor. If you have any third-party application or services running, close it. Disable overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam Maker, right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. If you have any other overlay application running, like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. Go to GA4 experience settings, turn off in-game overlay. Or you can simply close all the overlay application. Also close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner now this has worked for many players so if you have msi afterburner running or reverb tuner running close it or you can uninstall it after the uninstall restart your computer and then launch the game also if you have undervolted your computer remove the undervolt and then launch the game now you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game try window mode lower down graphics settings turn off a dlss and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, you can just uninstall the game. Now after you uninstall, go to the game installation folder and then delete the game folder. And then restart your computer, install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or F drive, any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.